So I went to Centennial High in Compton, right? And one year we had like this strange situation where Bill Cosby's son was killed the same day as this girl from my school. So they linked the murders. So we got a, the Centennial Compton, like this one particular murder, got way more attention than any of the other ones that had happened probably previous to that. So they started having all these events at, at my school and like the news would be there all the time. It was like, we had like, um, I want to say, uh, was it, who came to the school? Like Nelson Mandela came to the school and like Oprah came to the school and we had like all these cute, Muhammad Ali came to the school, uh, Roy Jones, like they were just kept having all these events like for this week. And then so the next event they had was like concerts. I guess they were just raising money and awareness, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I had, for some, I don't know how I snuck my way on the damn student council in my senior year. We had did something in 11th grade so I could make sure I get hall passes for the homies. Something crazy we had figured out. But I was on student council, so I was in charge of events. So I had to be in the gym when like the talent came in or whatever. So it was this girl group that came in. Um, and um, it, was, it, was, it was four girls. Three of them was over there fucking with us, cause they from Houston or whatever, and they like, oh damn, they in Compton, you know what I'm saying? So we just talking to her, yeah baby, woo, popping up. But one girl was over there fucking popping and dancing and shit, she just kept working out, like making sure. I'm like, so, I'm like, what's up with your home girl? What's up with her? They like, she always like that, all she do is wanna work, dance, and da 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 da. I'm like, all right. Well, she cool, and I, I ended up getting one of the girls, the other one's number, you know, went around the school, hey, prom, crack, one of this, da, da, da. So, that was the warm up time. So then all the groups there, all the groups there, they getting ready to come out, like Jagged Edge, a bunch of people that end up coming out later. Um, so, this girl group had to get changed in the bathroom. Like, our dirty ass, dirty ass girls bathroom in that gym like it was horrible graffiti pee all over the place everything they had that was their dressing room and so the other three girls me they were just kind of complaining like damn this is crazy that one that was dancing and shit was in there getting dressed i'm like man phew who about it so when they go out there and they kill the show whoa we like damn they crazy man who's this group they crazy Ooh, so then they leave so that girl Ended up being what? Well, yep. 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 So that showed me like, hey, you can't never make no excuses. Yeah. Never. No. And she was a child, like we were kids, like we were kids. Cause that's why I was able to talk to the other girls in the group. It was like, oh, well, we all around the same age. So, it's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Hard work, you know? Right, but quit. but hard not hard working and no complaining. Like, look at the, this this mega this now didn't mind. She was humble enough to get her ass dressed and handle the business in yeah. this Compton dirty ass. She didn't. It wasn't no complaining. It was nothing. It was no hanging. It was all work. It was like it it, 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 it That's probably why I think I worked so hard because I can always refer back to that story. Yes. Yes.